So if you really have significant pain in your testicles, I think that you should be examined by a medical professional. And yes, that's even if you don't necessarily feel that something is wrong, if you don't feel that there's swelling or something like that, you should still be examined if you have significant pain because pain is usually the body's indicator that something's wrong. Now, what if you get examined and you get an ultrasound and everything actually looks fine? The testicle has good flow, it's actually normal structurally, there are no abnormalities. What do you do then if you still have pain? In the vast majority of cases, I would say from my experience as a urologist, this type of pain, in the absence of something wrong structurally, is just going to fade away over the next few weeks, and you'll just notice that you notice it less and less, and it just kind of goes away. I would call something like this intermittent testicular pain, and it's actually fairly common. But what if this pain is constant, or maybe it's intermittent, but it keeps on coming back and keeps on coming back greater than three months? then you've got chronic testicular pain. You might also hear this referred to as chronic orchalgia, and it's the same thing. So chronic testicular pain affects about 100,000 men a year in the United States, and it actually represents a surprising amount of doctor visits to urologists specifically. About two and a half to five percent of all urologist visits are related to this. So in these men, about 25 to 50 percent of these men actually have no identifiable cause. Like, Everything is normal, there's no structural abnormality, and we can't really point to a reason for this pain existing. We call that idiopathic. But I guess the good news there is that maybe up to half of these men do have something that could be causing the pain. Maybe it's something like an epididymal cyst, or maybe it's damage from a hernia surgery, or maybe it's a vasectomy that caused chronic pain afterwards. So when there is an identifiable cause, a lot of times we'll try to treat that underlying cause, and that might be with medication, it might be with physical therapy, or it might be in rare cases with surgery. So if you are having significant pain in the testicles, please seek medical attention from a professional. And if you're continuing to have pain on a long-term basis, you might have chronic testicular pain. The bad news is that up to 50% of the time, we can't really tell why you're having this pain. And the good news, I guess, is that up to 50% of the time, we can figure out the reason why and try to treat that underlying cause. I'm Dan, the Darwinian Doctor. I'm a urologic surgeon and founder of Serious Real Estate. Follow for more.